sir. My name is David. We... Uh, okay. We stage uh, peaceful uh, rallies on a footbridge between Madison and Greenback. And last Sunday, our group, uh, for the first time in months, was uh, shut down. Um, and they didn't give us a specific reason. They just ordered us to leave. And... Um, you were on the on the uh, the foothill head crossing. Yes. Is that the one you're talking about. Yes, sir. Okay. Were you, so you guys were over the freeway at the time. Yes. Yeah, you can't display signs or anything like that or interfere with traffic in any way. We didn't. Apparently, you must have been. We we didn't. I mean, I I record everything. I have the whole recording of what we did the whole day. And and, I, and I'm sure it shows uh, you folks on the footbridge very nicely, but I doubt it shows what you were doing to the traffic below, which is our concern. No, I, I actually, we record those every day, with literally facing traffic, cameras always facing traffic. And, like I said, we, we've been doing this since June 31st, no accidents, no traffic slowdowns, nothing. No com no complaints. Yeah, and why have your protests there? If no one's paying any attention to you. Well, trust me, there's a lot of people paying attention. It's, 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 and they shouldn't be. They should be paying attention to where they're going on the freeway at, uh, you know, 90, 100 feet per second. Okay. I, I totally understand that. Right. How, that, that's our concern. However. And I suspect, in the officer's opinion, that that's what was going on and that you were causing a hazard. Wow. And in that respect, we can order you off the bridge. Okay. Well, um, there's over thousand road signs on every road i mean every anything could be a potential hazard you know not everybody is from from foothill farms so it's apples and oranges <laughs> uh, a road sign is not the same thing as protesting people i i on top of the freeway i i know but the way he okay. the way he had explained it was that we were jumping up and down on there and we weren't we were literally standing there that's it I mean, he told you, you were jumping up and down. Absolutely, he did. We probably had reports of that. I don't know for a fact, but I suspect that's what he based uh, it on. I, I do realize that, but um, I just kind of get want to get this resolved. I mean, it, 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 Here, here's the thing, and uh, as you said, you've done it successfully in the past. Oh yeah, causing a problem on, on that date and time. We, and again, I haven't looked it up, but I would surmise that we got enough complaints that it was causing a distraction to the drivers, and that is, is something we can't allow. Is it possible? Because that will cause collisions. Is it po Well, we, like I said, we haven't caused any collisions at all. You know no, trust me, if we would have caused a collision, we would have known about it, because we're out there for like three hours a day every single Sunday, and record everything. I, I, I heard you say that, uh, but... You have to understand that when traffic is backed up, and you contribute to that backup, uh, you may not see the collision that you inadvertently down the line caused, or contributed to the cause of. I don't know if you see. see what I'm I, I do, but I don't, I don't okay. know. If, I don't know if you could visualize that footbridge, but you could see miles. I don't have to visualize. I'm very familiar with it. Okay. No. Uh, I'm, but you can see miles. If it happens way past us, that's that's not our fault. I mean, if it's way past us, literally, you could see a couple miles between both bridges. I, I'm not sure you're uh, as familiar with, with liability laws as you think you are. <laughs> uh, so if, because if someone gets... In court that you tangibly contributed to the cause of that, then yeah, you are. So someone that gets in an accident miles from us could blame us for something miles ago. They, they could. That's that's ridiculous. That they would or that they would successfully do so. But what I'm telling you is that if, in the officer's opinion, your activities are affecting the traffic flow, they can't order you off that bridge. Well, I could almost guarantee that we haven't affected any traffic flow at all. The cop even I had to... I wasn't there. I don't know. Uh, I, I know. Fact, I'm just telling you, you know, what, what, what the situation could have been that would cause them to do that. 
Uh, and that's um, the thing. I, I don't know why, because he and, even... And, uh, I will let you know even further. Uh, when, uh, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, but in the past we've had other protesters up there. I'm not sure what it is you're uh, protesting about. Uh, but we have removed other protesters who have put up signs and things of that nature, which by their nature are distracting because they're not regulatory signs. So they're not allowed on the, on the freeway. So yeah, signs of any type up there, it's not allowed. Uh, okay, because they're prohibited on the freeway. Signs are so prohibited by the vehicle code. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, on a on a footbridge, signs are prohibited. Anywhere on the freeway. Anywhere. anywhere visible anywhere on the freeway. It, All of those signs are approved. Even even the the like the car lot signs that you can see from the freeway, those are all approved prior to them being erected. It is there a a law uh, that I that you can cite for for that, so I could look it up and at least let these people know. You know, you can go to the vehicle code and search it, and you will find lots of, of vehicle codes relating to that. Not to mention the California Code of Regulations, uh, which is quite large. Also, uh, is probably going to have some references to that as well. Huh. Just off the cuff, I couldn't tell you which sections to look at. Okay. Um, but I, I do know they exist, and I do know that, that all, all of that is codified. In other words, it's in code, and it's available for you to look up. And, and uh, again, like I said, if you're not causing an issue with the traffic, it's not a problem. I know, that's... You know, which is why, depending on what you're doing, and again, it could depend very much... On who's on the freeway. Uh, I know. It might not distract one person, but another person, you could find it very distracting, and they could slow down to take in more time to observe what you're doing when they really should be watching where they're going. Yeah. Um, if you follow that logic, no, that I, causes I a backup, and this, this causes a chain reaction, and then that collision occur. It, no, I, I absolutely understand that. Um, okay. Uh, but... Okay. Because that's the only place we're coming from on that. No, I I understand that. Um, yeah, if we don't perceive it as a hazard, we're not going to take any action. No, and well, see, and that's the thing. Like I said, I I recorded the whole incident, and he had even stated that there was no traffic backup. There was almost there was no collisions. He had drove through there. He told us at least ten times he didn't see anything. Yet. He's like, well, you know, people are doing 75, 80 out here, and they could cause a collision. I'm like, I understand that, but we haven't even caused a traffic backup or nothing. You even stated that. And well, you don't have to have a backup to cause a collision. <laughs> make that point uh, very clear. Uh, no, I... have I, to have is one car. I, I do. I, I know that. Um, okay. But the thing is, like, anything could cause a distraction. Anything can. A, a squirrel could run across the road. Flashing billboards? I mean, anything can. Okay. Um, we don't normally uh, blame the squirrel for collisions. Okay. Because okay, that's their nature. Um, and But we do take collisions where people say, yeah, I swear to avoid squirrel, dog, cat, whatever. Yeah. Deer. Uh, these happen. Those are factors in a collision. We can't tell the squirrel to stay off the freeway. We can't tell the dog to not run. We can't tell the deer to hey, stay over there in the forest. But we can ask the protesters to leave the pedestrian bridge or to cross, which is what it's designed for. It's not designed for you to stand up there and have a protest. Okay. Okay. It's not its purpose. Hmm. Well, so to alleviate a possible contributing factor, yeah, we can talk to you about that. Okay. Well, um, okay. so uh, again, it, it's, it's a situational thing. I know it, it's we've been shut down uh, twice by the same officer. I mean, we've had CHP go up there and shake our hands, and we've never had issues with anyone else except this one guy, and that's it. Well, I'm guessing maybe you caused that officer to take a couple of collision reports that he thought maybe you contributed to. <laughs> like, oh. like I said, we haven't caused collisions. On our pass, he would have told You'll us if we caused. The word them. I used was contributed to, because again, the drivers are responsible for their actions. 
Exactly. Drivers okay. are responsible However, for their actions. If we allow you to possibly distract them and contribute to the cause of their collision, we assume some liability for that. Uh, we have because our, our our mission is traffic safety. That's our number one mission. Uh, no, I I completely understand. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and look into that law about uh, about that um, signs on overpasses because I mean I've there's, looked. There's actually a lot of vehicle co couple of vehicle codes that apply to signs on roadways. I know. I've uh, I've looked. We've all in looked. In fact, if you just Google that, a couple three of them should pop right up for you. Um, and then. Um, I encourage you to keep researching and uh, maybe find a better location. Well, <laughs> that's the problem. We've um, we've done it uh, straight up on city streets before, and the only reason why we decided to go to a gated footbridge was for our safety. Because when we were on public streets, like this officer had CHP officer had told us to do on Sunday, we were had threats. We had people throw things at us. We had to call the cops on people because they threatened to uh, do stuff, bodily harm to us. It was national news. That's why we moved locations. We mo moved locations numerous times. And none of it had to do with public safety or anything. It had to do with our safety. Well, I'm sure that's a concern. It is. I mean, we had a... a you have to balance that with what you're, you're legally allowed to do. Well, they, where you're allowed to do it. So, you know, I don't know if you want to take advantage of public parks, for instance. Well, if you do that, you need a permit. So, okay. I'd rather not have so to go through a permit every single week. Because we do it weekly. And, you know, and so. So, you're, you're trying to skirt the process. What do you mean, skirt? Well, there's a process in place for you to, to get permits and. Trying to get around doing that—that's that's what skirting means. Oh, you don't need a per permit to protest in public as long as you're not doing anything like with loudspeakers or uh, stuff like that. Uh -huh. No, we, we've researched it. We've—I mean, it's a whole statewide thing. That's the, actually, it's not even statewide; it's nationwide. People do it at, at over uh, five thousand locations every week, and. Um, that's well, if there are that many locations, it sounds like you have some others to choose from. <laughs> uh, no, you don't understand. It was 5,000 lo locations around the entire U.S. Um, not going to move cities just because, uh, just because of this. That's, that's ridiculous. I live in Sacramento. so. Um, but we do it in, there's people that do it in Lomas, there's people that do it in Davis, there's people that do it in Bakersfield, and I mean... There's only a handful of locations, not even a handful. We're not trying to restrict your, your civil rights in any way, shape, or form, just, just to be clear on that. Okay. Okay. Um, you want to protest? Protest. That's, that's great. That's the, the country was founded on protest. Yeah. Um, however, we, our mandate is traffic and public safety. Okay. Okay. We have several mandates, but those are two of them. Uh, if, if, in our opinion, you start to interfere with traffic safety, yeah, we're going to ask you to move or, or, or shut you down at that time. Okay. Um, so, if we move if, locations and... If you feel it's a personal thing with, with that officer... Yeah. You know, I mean, it's a second time with the same guy. We've had well, no one could, else it do it this. It's a matter of when you're doing it. That's just a day that he works. Well, uh, because we have set days that we work. Uh, no, I, and yeah, it is the same day. It's, it's yeah, just, that, that's probably more. And we tend to work the same beat. In other words, you're having your protests on the same day and the same beat that he works. Uh, no, and I understand that. I mean, we've, okay. we've, we've switched times. We've switched locations before, uh, just for our own sake. And, um, I mean... It, it was a first, you know. It was it, it was the first at that location with that guy. We we were on Madison Madison Avenue, and he what said, day, "What day were you doing it?" Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Over eighty. Yes. What time? Three. In 
the afternoon? Yes, but way before... Oh, I'd, I'd shut you down. <laughs> why? I'll, I'll tell you why. People trying to get home who went up to the mountains, back to the Bay Area, you're, you're definitely a distraction for them. They're already tired. They're halfway home. Uh, yeah, and traffic's heavy. And I'm sure that's why you picked that time, since you want more people to see what you're doing. Uh, but unfortunately, you're more likely to affect traffic at that time. Well, we used your earlier statement that there wasn't much traffic. I find hard to believe. I I assure you, I have the recording of all the traffic that we've. I mean, every single place that we've gone to, I've recorded it since I, July first. I assure 1st, you that in so. that location, every Sunday that I've been through during that time, traffic's pretty heavy in at least one direction. Okay. And usually both. We, we used to be uh, further, way further down 80 toward Davis, and uh, we decided to stop doing that because traffic is real bad out there, and um, that's why we had moved. We did it for safety, <laughs> believe it or not. We did it for safety reasons for everybody else, and that's why we moved further up north because uh, traffic is actually a actually lot... Actually further east. But... Further east, my bad. Um, further east uh, because traffic's a, a lot lighter... Um, on the east side of 80 instead of the west side of 80 toward Davis. Okay. It's much more lighter. It's, it's lighter in the respect of doing zero miles an hour in Davis yes. versus doing 10 to 15 through Foothills Farm. The they weren't. What they're doing. There's, they're, okay. Trust me, they're not doing. Heavy. They're not doing ten to fifteen miles an hour. The cop that went up there said that they, everybody was doing about seventy miles an hour. Well, I, I have your statement of that, but I have my experience telling me otherwise at that time of day. Okay. As a rule, could have been an exception. There are some Sundays you walk out there; it's very light. But uh, can't I, imagine why he would. Yeah. Every Sunday we've been out there, we've never had traffic go down to fifteen miles an hour. Well, Every Sunday. I w I've only worked in this office about nine years, and my experience tells me otherwise. Okay. And I've worked a lot of Sundays. Okay. Um, well, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look up that code and uh, spread the word. All right, very good. All right. Uh, what, what, was, what was your name again, sir? My name is Officer Wilkening. What, what was your name again? David Powell. David, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Yes, sir. Th thank you. Take care.